Greetings. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the first virtual graduation in the history of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. We're all part of an unprecedented event in the 122-year history of our institution. Although the circumstances that precipitated the format of today's commencement have been challenging to everyone, today is a great day in your life and in the history of the university. It's a day to celebrate your accomplishments with your family and your friends, a day to celebrate the resilience and the longevity of this great institution, and a day you've anticipated and worked very hard to bring to fruition. We all wish we were gathered together this weekend in Lafayette, because like you and your families, commencement is a joyous time for everyone at the university. You are our greatest success, and we want to celebrate this moment as well. We will have an opportunity to gather with you at a later time, and we look forward to that day. But we simply could not allow this day to pass without formally conferring the degrees that you have earned. There are many people who have helped you to reach this milestone. One group in particular that we must recognize are the extraordinary faculty who have mentored you and taught you so well during your years at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. And in your case, the graduates of spring 2020, these same faculty found a way to deliver their promise to you in the midst of one of the most significant crises in our nation's history. Take the opportunity to let those faculty members know just how much they impacted your life. But now, it's about you and about what you have accomplished during these trying times. Welcome again to our commencement ceremony. Congratulations on this significant milestone in your life. And now celebrate with us and with those who have gathered with you. Welcome, members of the Class of 2020, and welcome to all of those watching this celebration, the first virtual commencement in the university's history. Of course, we weren't looking to make history when this semester began, but the past few months have cast us all as participants in events the likes of which the world has not seen in some time. This global pandemic has touched nearly every aspect of our lives as individuals, and nearly every facet of our university's life as well. As an institution, we've had to reimagine how to operate, how our students learn, where they learn, and how we celebrate their achievements. You, the members of this spring graduating class, refuse to be deterred by these extraordinary circumstances. And despite the multitude of changes and challenges this semester posed, you remain focused on your goal of earning an academic degree, and you've done it. So congratulations are in order. You know, commencement is a highlight of every semester, and it's an opportunity to offer graduates the best wishes of the university as they begin the next chapter of their lives. From my usual vantage point, I can look into the graduates' hopeful faces and the sight never fails to reassure me. The future of our community and of our world is in good hands. Although the view is different this time, my confidence remains. You have proven your ability to answer challenges with resilience and to meet the unexpected with resolve. Resilience is a quality that the world always needs, and that certainly is true today. You have it. It's right there alongside your ingenuity, courage, optimism, and compassion. These traits, combined with the knowledge that you've gained here and the skills that you have sharpened, will ensure that a brighter and better future remains ahead for yourselves, your loved ones, and for our broader community. In the next few days, you will receive your diplomas. On the surface, they commemorate your labor, sacrifice, and yes, your resilience. But look more closely, and you'll see that your diploma also represents a belief that someone else had in your dreams. Your family's fingerprints are on that diploma. 
The fingerprints of your friends and professors are there as well. They and many others help you to reach your destination today. Call them, text them, FaceTime them, write them, email them. Though you may not be able to physically embrace them, let your words and thoughts of gratitude draw them close. And in the future, when you look at your diplomas, imagine their fingerprints. Remember how their kindness influenced your lives. And let those memories inspire you to help someone else reach their goal as well. Now, at the beginning of your journey toward an academic degree, I know that many of you imagined what commencement might look like. None of us pictured an event quite like this one. But whether the commencement is remote or in person, my request of you and the university's expectations for you would be the same. Be present in the world. Show up. Participate. Make a difference. In this age of social distancing, we cannot separate ourselves from the responsibility that each of us has as individuals to apply our skills, talent, and knowledge to make a difference for the greater good. You've learned that lesson throughout your time at the university, and the past few months have made it all the more clear. Be present in the world. It needs you. We all need you now more than ever. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Please stay safe and go Cajuns. Class of 2020, congratulations on graduating from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I'm Jim Henderson. I am president of the University of Louisiana system. The system comprises nine universities across the state of Louisiana. And of course, one of my favorites, one of my top nine is the University of Louisiana Lafayette. Uh, partly because I send a tuition check there every semester for my physics major, math major, chemistry major son, who will graduate this fall, God willing. Uh, what you have achieved is remarkable in its own right. You are a college graduate. That's a goal that has eluded so many Louisianans and so many people across the country. Forevermore, you'll be a college graduate. But this is what makes you special. You completed your studies in an unprecedented circumstance. One that was really unfathomable even eight weeks ago when we first became amateur epidemiologists and started talking about how viruses can expand across cities and countries and states. The fact that you were able to be successful under these circumstances says a lot about who you are. It says you're resilient, it says you're focused, it says that you can overcome obstacles that couldn't even be envisioned. Those are traits that are going to make you successful for the rest of your life. We are, take great pride in every one of our graduates. It's hard to, to understand that unless you're an educator, that sense of pride that you get in watching a student walk across the stage. Well, we don't get to watch you walk across the stage, at least not today. Hopefully we'll get to in the very near future. For now though, Please know that we are proud of you. We're grateful for you. We congratulate you. Go Cajuns. Hello to my fellow Ragin' Cajuns, to the university administration, faculty, and staff, and to the parents, friends, relatives, and extended family members of the UL Lafayette community. Congratulations. We've done it. Over the past four years, I've had the privilege of being a student at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I found myself consistently in awe of the vigor with which professors have prepared insightful and challenging coursework, yet were also accessible and compassionate when we've needed help or guidance. I've been in awe of students that, in addition to full-time class loads and jobs, sacrificed their time, their money, their talents, and their energy to support a student organization, or to a philanthropy, or to a service event, or in support of our friends, our teammates, and our classmates. We are and have always been a boisterous, spirited university that constantly inspires bettering our campus and the world around it. This semester, that boisterous and spirited environment was cut short without warning, 
and cast waves of grief, disappointment, and worry upon us as we came to terms with harsh uncertainty. But because a need for companionship, an understanding of the problems facing our community, a heart for service, and a wherewithal to respond is in our very nature, we've used our time out of the classroom to sew masks, to deliver and shop for our more vulnerable population, and even to step onto the front lines ourselves, but most importantly, to help our family however we can. We did not wait to act, to serve, or to respond, and our reaction to this disaster both encompasses our character and anticipates our lifetime of service and global impact. There is a hard truth that marks today's virtual celebrations, for which there can be no unanimous sentiment or process by which to resolve. There is nothing that I or anyone else can say to make the sting of the sudden changes to this ceremony any easier to bear because I feel them too and I've gone through every emotion with you. But there is another greater truth that seals today's celebrations that no one and nothing can take away our education. We have endured shock tragedy, illness, and loneliness, but we have done it with a greater ability to appreciate our circumstances and with a deeper respect for others' ideas and concerns and with a richer understanding of our future purpose. If there's one thing I've learned at UL, it's that anyone in South Louisiana can be born a Cajun, but only the fire-tested candidates at the end of sleepless nights, early mornings, and ever-challenging semester after semester get to proudly call themselves Ragin' Cajun alumni. Though it is not the way that we imagined, our day, too, has come, marking the last of our degree requirements and the first in a lifetime of excellence. There is no other class no other semester, no other university, and no other student body I would rather share this experience with. And the day when we can return to our alma mater from every corner of the world, it will be that much sweeter to share alumni status with you all. Congratulations. Hello, I have the honor to introduce to you the university's outstanding graduates and master's finalists. The Outstanding Graduate and Outstanding Master's Graduate Award is one of the highest honors bestowed upon an undergraduate and master's graduate. The Outstanding Graduate Award is awarded to an exemplary bachelor's student in recognition of outstanding academic and extracurricular achievements. The master's student is selected based on leadership, scholarship, service, and research. The Alumni Association's Awards Committee interviewed all outstanding graduates then selected the winners. The outstanding graduate for the College of Arts is Lauren Graham LeBlanc. Lauren majored in fine arts with a concentration in graphic design with a 3.82 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the B.I. Moody III College of Business Administration is Francisca Riepel. Francisca majored in economics with a political science minor with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Education is Sarah Fry. Sarah majored in exercise science with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Engineering is Kyle Zappi. Kyle majored in chemical engineering with a 3.95 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Liberal Arts is Rachel Laudiger. Rachel double majored in political science and history with a 3.97 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Nursing and Allied Health Professions is Sarah Caswell. Sarah majored in nursing with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the Ray P. Audemont College of Sciences is April Pruitt. April is a biology major with a minor in chemistry and psychology with a 3.95 GPA. The outstanding graduate from University College is Miranda Wiltz. Miranda majored in general studies with a 3.92 GPA. Now it is my privilege to introduce the outstanding master's finalists. Olivia Lahey is graduating with a Master of Science in Civil Engineering from the College of Engineering with a 4.0 GPA. Tyler Martinez is graduating with a Master of Arts in English from the College of Liberal Arts with a 4.0 GPA. Abigail, Abby, Pratt 
is graduating with a Master of Science in Biology from the Ray P. Audemars College of Sciences with a 4.0 GPA. Melody Tanako is graduating with a Master of Music from the College of Arts with a 4.0 GPA. Now, award time. The Spring 2020 Outstanding Graduate Award winner is Kyle Zappi from the College of Engineering. The Outstanding Master's Graduate Award winner is Olivia Lahe, also from the College of Engineering. Congratulations, Kyle and Olivia, and all our outstanding graduates and master's finalists, as well as all of our graduates. On behalf of the Alumni Association and over 100,000 graduates before you, welcome to the Alumni Association. All graduates will receive an Alumni Association lapel pin with their diploma. Congratulations. Welcome to the spring 2020 commencement of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I am Azmi Akli, Dean of the AP Othman College of Sciences, and it is my honor to represent the faculty of this great college. Graduates, you were taught by world-renowned educators and researchers who publish a substantial body of new results in science journals and receive millions of dollars each year in federal and state grant funding in support of research. I take this opportunity to thank and congratulate the faculty for their great job helping you get to this day. Also, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the family and friends for everything they did and continue to do for our graduates, as well as to our UL alumni for their continued support for the University of Louisiana at Lafayette and for the College of Sciences. And finally, our graduates. Our job would not exist without you. Your thirst for knowledge and your curiosity have helped make this college a better place. You have challenged our faculty to develop more rigorous and creative avenues in which to impart their knowledge so that you would become the scientific thinkers that you are today. Thank you for reminding us that what we do can be life changing. I realize that the past two months have not been easy due to COVID-19, but we trained you to be Asian Cajuns. And as such, you rose up to the challenge and you worked extremely hard to achieve your goal and finish the semester. Congratulations on a job well done. I am very proud to be your dean and would like to take this opportunity to challenge your graduates to go out into the community and to serve as ambassadors for higher education, for science, and for the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I have no doubt that you will make wonderful scientific discoveries and great technological advancements to improve the lives of many around the world. Congratulations and go Cajuns. And now presenting the graduates. Alexander Frederick Adams. Thanks to all of my family and friends who helped me get my degree. Here's to the next two years. Go Cajuns. Dallas Nicole Alexis. I just want to thank my family and friends for giving me all the love and support that I needed to make it this far. Although my time at the university is ending, I will always be a prior education. Marshall James Nimitz Anderson. Class of 2020, we made it. I would like to thank my family, my friends, and my lizard for helping me on this journey to success. Benjamin Paul Anding. Michael Andrepont. Without the support of my friends, my family, and most of all my wife, I wouldn't be where I am today, so I'd like to thank them for that. And remember, no tricks. Lauren Ashley Anthes. Seth Michael Ard. Joseph Oquin. I just wanted to uh, say thank you to my mom, my dad, and my sister. And if it wasn't for you, they wouldn't be here. And I love y'all. 
Holden Robert Babineau, Nisha Marie Bartley. I would like to thank my family and friends for encouraging and supporting me these past four years, as well as the University of Louisiana at Lafayette for an amazing college experience. Trinisha Marie Bartley. Thank you to my family and friends, and thank you, University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Connor Luke Bodine. Joshua Paul Baudouin. Keisha J. Benjamin. Jacob Bernard. Anna Michaela Bertrand. Nigel Q. Bassard. Reagan Blair. Brooke Elizabeth Bockled. Magdalene Louise Bonin. Scott Cedric Berg. Alexa Elizabeth Bro. for all the great memories and I'm ready to start my new adventure at LSU School of Dentistry. Andre Broussard. Brayton Chance Broussard. Shallon Greg Broussard. Victoria Brown. Cameron Allen Brule, John Min Bui, Tucker James Bolera. I would like to thank my supportive family and friends for getting me to where I am today. And remember, no tricks. Ashley Nicole Burns. Thanks, UL, for this once-in-a-lifetime college experience. I want to thank my parents and my grandparents, and a special thanks to my boyfriend Cameron and his family for always supporting me in my dreams. Leah Catherine Camel. Courtney Carrier. Thank you to my parents, my grandparents, my aunts, uncles, cousins, friends, and anybody else who has supported me through the years. This one's for you. Hunter Joseph Sheremy. Alec Clay. Kayla Coco. Kaide Colette. Jacob Aaron Como. Charles Alfred Connor. Juwan Cormier. Dakota Matthew Cortez. I want to thank my family, my amazing girlfriend, and I want to wish everyone else the best of luck. Bo Corville, Eight Jared Corville. I just want to give a big thank you to God first and foremost. Uh, I want to thank my parents and my brother for giving me everything I need, my friends for supporting me and uh, helping me get to where I am today. Casey Allen Kuti, Aiden Dakota McKinley Creason. Diana Cutshaw, Julia Catherine Daigle, Joseph Thomas DeMarco, Kirsten Duet, 
I'm so grateful for my education and all the amazing people that I've met through this university. Go Cajuns! Gerard Edward Drake. Thank you to my supportive family and the friends I made along the way. Go Cajuns! Haley Marie Dewey. Brandy Lashira Duga. Jessica Dugas. David Dong. Patrick Harris Dupuy. Jacob Noah Eccles. Joseph Anthony Ank. Justin Farrar. Kristen Jade Felder. Thank you to all my friends and family who are watching today. I couldn't have done any of this without you, and I love all of you so much. Nancy Rebecca Fisher. David Shane Fontenot. Trick Alexander Fontenot. Emily Marie Foster. Emily Frederick. Andrew Frentz. Megan Gail Froba. I just want to give a special thanks to my parents, T and Miss Gail, Catherine and Ryan, and Stephen for all the love and support y'all have given me. And go Cajuns! Courtney Taylor Gallagher. Thank you, family and friends, for all the love and support. It has been an amazing journey, and I can finally say today's graduation day. Davis Frank Garrett. Randy Trent Joffron. Matthias Getman. Emily Susan Giesman. David Jose Gonzalez. I want to thank everybody that helped me to graduate. Uh, you guys are the best. I couldn't have done it without you guys, and I can't wait to move on to the next step. Alex Granger. Austin James Gray. Logan Michael Gilbo. Courtney Camille Guillory. Logan James Lawrence Habetz. Leah Jordan Hinton. Hey family, hey friends. I finally graduated. And I give all honor and glory to God and I can't wait to see what he has in store for me. Go Raging Cajuns. Allison Elizabeth Higdon. Sadie Elizabeth Hightower. Hey guys, I'd just like to thank my friends and family that helped me through this bachelor's degree at ULAP. Go Cajun. Nicholas Edward Holt. Hey y'all, I know this isn't the ideal graduation ceremony, but I'm still blessed to be able to experience this moment with family, friends, and whoever else is out there watching. I couldn't have done this without y'all's support. Ashley Hoover. I just want to thank everybody, even though this is a really weird situation. And congrats to the rest of Class 2020. Megan Rose Jackson. Finally graduated. <laughs> Jacob Stephen Jaro. Thank you, 
God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Kirsten, Miss Rachel, Mr. Terry, Lindsay, Lauren, Kevin, and Dad. Wesley Johnson. Wesley Johnson here. I'd like to thank my friends and family for helping me through college. I could never have done it without you. Zari Leanne Johnson. Ayan Micaiah Joseph. Taylor Renee Joseph. I'm so proud to say I finally made it. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Candice Kurt. This isn't how I expected to graduate, but it's been an amazing journey. I want to thank my family and friends for being an amazing support system. We did it. Kajwanis Dion Knighton. Luke Chittam Kanur. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you to my family for all their support and to my friends, professors, and classmates who made my time at UL special. Go Cajuns! Ricky Lynn Lale. Clint Allen Landry. to all those who supported me through this academic endeavor. Brent Allen Larson. Thanks to all those who supported me through this academic endeavor. Pat Austin Laster. Devin Michael LeBlanc. I want to thank my parents, my siblings, my family, my friends, and of course, our computer science mom, Miss Nona East. All of you made this possible for me. Thank you. John Logan LeBlanc. Jansen Lede. Honor James Lemaire. Tiffany Jasmine LeMail. Chloe Bell Latoul. I want to thank my family for supporting me on my journey. I'm super excited to graduate. Caleb Michael Levins. Harry Lynn Lewis. Morgan Lindsay Emma Linson. Sierra Logan. Hunter Lee London. Dominique Charles Lusto. My name is Dominique Lusso. I'm a member of the class of 2020 and a member of UL Drumline. I have two things I want to say. Go Cajuns. Bradley Ann Louvier. Daniel Arnaldo Lugo. Robert Malus. Sydney Renee Manuel. We'll see Alex Martin. Christopher Cole Martin. It took me a while, but I finally did it. Thanks, everybody. Jacob Austin Mata. Laura McDonald. Caroline Rose Medica. 
peeps, I'm here doing graduation with Josie on my Galaxy S10. I was not expecting graduation to be like this, but gotta roll with the punches. I love you, Mom! Austin Bryce Alexander Marilos. Andrew Robert Milner. Joshua Paul Meir. It took a while, but I finally managed to graduate. Thanks, Mom and Dad. David Edward Monju. Spencer Thomas Montgomery. Sarah Elizabeth Moran. Ashley Ruth Morvant. Curly Lee Moses. Hi. I'd like to give thanks to everybody who supported me along this journey. And to everyone else, keep fighting and stay strong. Seth Michael Mouton. Skylar Andre Navarre. Allison Tien Q Wen Matthew Taylor Oland It's been a long road, but we finally made it. I'd like to thank my friends and family who believed in me and helped me finish up. Go Cajuns! Hunter James Ordino Potter. I want to give a thank you to my mom and dad, and I want to give a shout out to all my friends. I look forward to the adventures that have yet to come. Hannah Ott. Purva Kaushikbai Patel. Kimmy Lynn Perkins. Crikey! Shelby Lynn Picard. Jillian Pirro Andrew Thomas Piron Ben Robert Priola April Nicole Pruitt Once a raging Cajun, always a raging Cajun Congratulations, graduates. Now I'm off to graduate school. Go Cajuns! Matthew Gray Pulse. Thank you for a great four years. April Nicole Rabasa. I know this isn't what we expected for graduation, but many people didn't expect me to graduate at all. I'm thankful for my professors, friends, and family that pushed me through it. Happy graduation, class of 2020. Tori Paul Robicho. Sarah Catherine Roblo. I want to say thank you to God, my family, my friends, and my past teachers and professors that have helped me get this far. Go Cajuns, and congrats class of 2020. Ashton Nicholas Roy. Connor James Roy. Well guys, we did it. And I want to say a big thank you to family and friends. Matthew Roy. Lisa Samake. Destiny Janae Sandolf Millsap. I just want to thank God and all of my family and friends who supported me on this long journey. I'm happy to be a part of the class of 2020. Go Cajuns! Olivia Grace Sebastian. Ashley Renee Sellers. Norima Shakya. A huge thank you to my mom, dad, my little brother, 
my friends and all of my professors for their endless support. Now I can finally say that the tassel was worth the hassle. Brennan Smith. Justin Tyler Swallow. Diana Nicole St. Julian. I just want to say thank you to my family and my friends for being so supportive and making these four years enjoyable. I'm definitely going to celebrate when all this is over, but in the meantime, just thank you so much. Carly Suzanne Stanley. Hi, I would like to thank my friends and family for supporting me through the last four years. I would also like to thank all my professors and congratulations class of 2020, we're done. Grace Emily Sterneman. V. Shea Rion Stevenson. Hi, hey, friends and family. I am finally finished with my degree here at UL. So, I need to have my raging cases to keep pushing, and thanks to my sorority. Ooh, ooh. Kylie Marie Thibodeau. Catherine Marie Torrey. Aisha Traha. Andrew Patrick Traha. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm graduating. Tuan Nock Tran. Matthew Tell Troquil. I just want to thank everybody who supported me these past four years, uh, all the new friends I made here in Lafayette, my family, uh, and everyone back home. Thank you guys so much. And Min Trong. Dustin Arthur Tweedy. Emma Cecily Vaccarella. Julia Vallejos. Nicole Elizabeth Viatar. Jessica Lisette Waddell. Rachel LaPearl Waldrup. No matter what age you are, it's always the right time to accomplish your dreams. Thanks to the friends and family who helped me achieve mine. Bailey Reed Williams. Zachary Windham. Housley Wood. Andrew Ronald Young. Franchelle Jasmine Young. Stuart Joseph Young. As a third generation Raging Cajun, I am proud to continue the family tradition. Thank you to my family and friends, and to the ULIT and Advancements Departments. Go Cajuns! Haley Zonbreaker. Now it is time for the best moment of any graduation ceremony. It is the moment you worked very hard preparing for. So, would the students recommended for the bachelor's degree please stand and face this video? I have heard the recommendations of the faculty of the College of Sciences. It is with great joy that I say, by the power vested in me, by the Board of Supervisors for the University of Louisiana system, and by the President of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science, with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Your university family is extremely proud of you and wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors.